And, and, and Philemon, it's very critical that um, now that the Supreme Court has ruled, perhaps the question should be, then everybody should just shun whatever concerns they have or commentary they would want to have. And particularly since you are clothed as a lawyer, any misgivings on the ruling of the Supreme Court or the judgment? It's very well, my brother. Good morning. Good morning to the people of this country. And uh, there's a message of hope. And that message is the fact that President Mahama is coming to fix this country, reset this country, in every facet of, of, of this country's life. There will be a reset, including manifestly uh, ensuring that justice is done. President Mahama is committed to that. President Mahama is committed to ensuring that the economy helps the people of this country to thrive. The situation where people in this country cannot feed, the situation where the exchange rate is an un un unprecedented high, will not be the case under President Mahama's government. And of course, on the issue of corruption, President Mahama will not give a $34 million contract to his children. He will not do that. Unlike the case where President Akufado is dishing out contracts to his family and friends, it will not happen. So I, I think it's I, important for me to ask you a specific that. question. I'm going on that now. On the issue of the Supreme Court, I think that what we have seen so far is that this MPP government has continuously demonstrated that they have no principle. I'd refer my brother, my learned brother from the MPP, to Article 9 of the MPP Constitution, which is clear that any member of the MPP who, who supports a candidate outside the selected member of the MPP is automatically... Why is this important? We're told in law practice, that the cons train, Constitution train is supreme. Train, no doubt, no doubt. The Constitution of Ghana is supreme relative to issues of Ghana. Now, every association, political party, corporate entity can also have its own constitution. And to the extent that the provisions of those constitu uh, do that constitution is not in contravention to the constitution, it's valid. So whatever is in the MPP constitution does not in any way conflict with the constitution of Ghana. That means it's valid law. So if the MPP constitution is saying that anybody that supports a candidate that is not sponsored by the MPP automatically forfeits membership of the party, why are they today pontificating before the Supreme Court? My brother here used to be in the MPP. They say because he has now supported movement for change and is supporting Alan against a sponsored part candidate of the MPP, he has automatically lost his membership of the MPP. Solomon Ousu, who is here in this studio, has automatically lost his membership of the MPP because he has supported somebody else. Why is the MPP being hypocritical now that members of their party, certain members of parliament, have defected what do you mean hypocritical? It is hypocritical. Okay. It Hypo is. Because on one principle, you are what, then they are being unfair to Solomon. The MPP deserves, Solomon deserves an apology from the MPP. Boniface Abu Bakar Sadiq deserves an apology from the MPP. Nana Ohenin Tu deserves an apology from the MPP. Kare Nobi deserves an apology from the MPP. Because they automatically forfeited their membership by virtue of supporting Alan. So the MPP has no principle. That's the point. The people of the Ghana who are watching this morning, I reiterate to you, never trust any politician, any government that has no principle. This MPP government have proven to us they care nothing. They've thrown principles to the dogs. And that's why they are leading this country with reckless abandon. If they had principle, they would have stuck to the core provision of their party. They would have stuck. They would have, look, it wouldn't be the case that two legs good, four legs bad. They wouldn't have done that. It wouldn't have been the case where you... You, you, you punish Solomon Ousu. Meanwhile, when it comes to the case of the Formina MP, it comes to Cynthia Mamle Morrison, you are being selective. They are failed. An important point I should talk about, my brother. Parliament works through collaboration. M meaning in what? previous times, various leaders, when we had leaders in Parliament, when we had Harun Edusu, when we had Oseche Mensa Bonsu, of course, Ato Fosin also doing very well. When we did not have the likes of Athenio Marken leading parliament. No, you cannot make those disparaging. This is the point. This is the point. Maybe, it's not disparaging. It is not. Honestly. It is not. Honestly. It is not. Honestly. It is not. Honestly. This is the point I'm making. Turn your language. If I thought you made the point here. The fact of the matter is that when we had credible leaders in parliament leading the house, Athenio Marken oh, cannot, Athenio Marken cannot bring the house together. He is not a rallying leader. He's not a leader that can bring different shades of opinion together. Philemon, are you he saying that he going the route that he has is rather on dividing parliament politically Afenu is very political politically Afenu Markin does not have the quality to bring parliament together he calls himself you mean he could have resolved this better than the Afenu way he... Martin, he could have been better if you bring an SRC president of KNUST <coughs> into the position of Afenu Markin he'll do a better job than Afenu no, Markin no 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 you cannot I say tell that. you that please I tell you that the person is not it's here so let's record. not make this right you're a legal practitioner yes it is please. it is and Afenu Markin deserves the right to take legal action if what I'm saying is a lie 
I believe that take an SRC president from KNUSC to lead the MPP caucus, and that person will do a better job than Afenyo Marken. He has failed in rallying the MPP together. He has failed in performing his responsibilities as a leader. I would have expected that he would consult. Did he speak to Osei Chemen Saboso at all? Did he speak to him? Did he, did he take his hand over no seriously? If he did, he would have realized that parliament works through consensus. This brings me to the issue of the political question doctrine. The law is right that political issues must be dealt with in a political sense and not legally. How that is this is a political poli issue? It is, it is, it is. Because you see parliament, as he said, parliament <laughs> is the master of its own rules. Nope. It, it doesn't is. apply for it. It is. Me. Parliament is the master of its own rules. No one you steal powers from elsewhere. I thought I listened to you in silence okay. when you were speaking. Okay. I did. So okay. Parliament is the master of its own rules. <laughs> and therefore it's important, it's important that Parliament is allowed to operate within the core function of its responsibilities. Now you have come to introduce okay. the Supreme Court. And you see, the Supreme Court should be worried. Roland, you should be worried. All of us on this table should be worried. Because when you monitor the mood of this country, measure the pulse of this country, people are disappointed at the Supreme Court. We are aware of the recent Mo Ibrahim report. Look at social media. Everyone calls the Supreme Court by a certain name, a certain disparaging name, which I do not want to repeat. But it tells you that the people of this country have a certain perception of the Supreme Court. And I think they have a responsibility to ensure that that image is purged of the minds of the Ghanaian people. Otherwise, I mean, we are seemingly losing the credibility that we would have wanted the Supreme Court to have. But the Supreme Court is supreme. It is supreme. Hey, the 1992 Constitution. <laughs> no doubt about that. The Supreme Court is supreme. But the fact of the matter is that do the people of this country trust that the Supreme Court is being fair in its adjudication? So the political question doctrine is that let politics be politics and let the legal issue stand. Now, the MPP may claim that they've got a ferric victory. Ferric victory. I can assure you that the MPP is the biggest loser in all of this. Afenyo Markin is the biggest loser in all of this. Alaji Baumia is the biggest loser in all of this. Meaning what? what do they stand to benefit out of what the Supreme Court has said? What do they stand to benefit? What do they stand to benefit? Even they who have not been able to rally their members around to come to Parliament. Even they who have members of Parliament all around the various constituencies who are scared of defeat. They will not even come to Parliament. They will not. Because they are all suffering under the weight of the failure of the Akufuado government. Of Baumia's government. People are there fighting for their seats. It's not the time for them to come and continue to sponsor loans that this MPP government is going to spend recklessly. The people of this country should be rest assured that under a President Mahama government, credibility will be reintroduced into governance. Under President Mahama's government, principle will stand tall over parochial partisan interests like the MPP is doing. That is our commitment.